Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about tips and tricks changing the size of a drawing area. All right, so let's get into it. So usually we have a determined size area in our drawing area. So this is all drawing area, but the issue is, for example, if we have one unit right here, one unit, okay, so I'm going to I'm going to lock this, okay. And I'm going to draw a room right here. Right here, let's go here, right there. So if we make all these rooms and this is and this ends up being a unit, there we go, see? So this is a town home, right? So this, this is gonna be unit number one. So let's put in here unit one. No, let's just put a one, one unit, so two units, three units, four units, five units, right? And I'm gonna hide this, let's hide. Okay, so what we're gonna do in here is just put like, uh, for example, unit one, two, three, four, five, but there is a way you can put more units, right? So what we can do is just move this to the side, see? Let's move to the, to the side, all right. So we have access for more units, but there is always a limit right so as of now we have one two three four five units so what happens if i want to put five units six units seven units for of a townhome see it doesn't allow me to go farther right so we need to extend this actually especially that happens when you have big mansions okay let's go here and see so if we make it smaller nothing happens so there's no way we can fit one more unit well well we can make it a little fit one more see one more right here let's go here and then go put in here right there all right but there is no way we can put another one so in other words in here what we're going to have is one two three four five six seven units in a town home for example okay so what happens if you want to add another unit or or if your house is a mansion and your mansion has like has like a game room has a sauna has a living room and then you run out of space right so in that case what you have to do is you go to here to the drawing area right click and the right click you have a scrolling width and a scrolling height so that is the actually that's the trick that is going to enable you to add more units as many as you want for example in this case if we have 150 you can easily put this 300 we're going to double it 300 enter there we go and as you can see now this extended completely so in here you're going to be able to put like double the size in fact so what we're going to do in here is copy all of them and see we can put all together in here right there okay see one two three there we go see you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen units so again the trick is if you want to extend if you want to extend the area the drawing area you do right click it is this scrolling width in feet so if this is 300 you can change it even to 400 doesn't matter so it's going to keep on extending right there we go see all right and sometimes we need to know and we need to understand that's why this is the hvac is my channel the application is very important i'm not just going to make videos like oh this would look like this very good no so what is the application of this for example okay let's change this uh let's do something a little bit more realistic but now you know the trick the trick to extend it is right click scrolling width okay so more realistically let's make this like this Okay, I'm going to put this scroll to say 200, scrolling width, there we go, okay, so we're, let's put this in here, okay, so what is the application of this, so it's, be, it's very good, so when we're doing manual J calculations, you usually do it one room by one room, so room number one, room number two, independently, I mean unit one, unit two, unit three, unit four, five, six, you do manual J for each unit, right? So you don't need to do a manual J for the whole row of townhomes, so for the whole uh, assembly, right? 
you don't need to do that. But then why do I need to do like all this row and extend the size? Because so sometimes build, home builders are trying to get tax incentives, tab, tax grants or rebates, extra money, extra credits, and they do the energy performance calculation. So in Rightsoft, you have the option of do an energy calculation right here. So if you go here, uh, let's see, write draw, drawing, where is it located? Wizard view standard mode. Let's double check on wizard. Okay, sales manager, drawings drawings vertically manifold proposal uh let me double check this hold on a minute yes so now it is in here so you go to file code compliance under code compliance i don't have it enabled here because i'm not using it but usually this is an add-on on the license of Rightsoft. So it, it costs, I guess, 50 more dollars or $100 per year, but this is an add-on. And what I usually use is rest check. So see in here, you can see rest check link. So what you do is you click on rest check link and you have this as a whole building because what happens is we used to do rest checks in, and we just do the rest checks per unit, unit one, two, three, four, five, six. So we would have six rest checks. However, one of the builders wanted to get rest check for the whole row of town homes. So, so the challenge was to make all of the town homes fit within the drawing area. So in that case, I had to use this option to make it fit in one area and do a whole row of townhomes uh, rest check calculation. Again, you go to file, code compliance, and then rest check link. There's other options, Energy Star Certified Homes, Energy Pro Link, Right Energy, Title 24, and everything else, okay? All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and share, all right? I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.